I look like a clown. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia and today I am doing the random numbers pick my eyeshadow challenge. I had to read that off my phone because I've been trying to say it for like 10 minutes and I just can't. It's a long name, okay? And I'm Swedish. I first saw Alyssa Ashley do this challenge but I don't know who originally came up with the idea. So basically what this challenge is, is you pick a random number and whatever number you get equals a shade of eyeshadow. So let's say you get the number 5. You count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the eyeshadow palette and whatever shade you get um, and whatever number you get is... Fuck. <laughs> let's try that again. Let's say I get the number 5. I will count to the fifth shade in the palette and that's my first color. I found a random number generator online. I will see if I can edit that into the video. If I can, I'll just put whatever number I get up on the screen somewhere here or there or... Yeah. My editing skills are very basic. I'm using iMovie, so I will do my best. So the biggest eyeshadow palette I have is my Tati Beauty Texture Neutrals palette, but I think this is just a little bit boring like it's I think it's gonna be super easy to work with any of these shades so I decided to change it up a little and pick two palettes this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera it's a little bit more fun and colorful together these palettes add up to 38 shades so now I'm gonna let the number generator pick a number between 1 and 38 Let's get started. So this is gonna be my first try. What does it say? 24. Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 24 is this shade. I'm a little disappointed. I want it to go like light and colorful. This is such a fall shade, but it is gorgeous. This shade it is. Next up is the second shade. What? <laughs> it's not working. I gotta restart it. Okay, I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm just resetting. Number 36. So that should be this shade. That's Monte Carlo. The third shade. What? It said 36 again. That doesn't count. I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> 21. 21 is this shade. I don't even know if I was screen recording the last one. Well, I am now. 39. 39. So 24, 25, 6, 7, 8. Six. It was at this moment Sonia knew. She fucked up. I don't even have 39 shades. Wow. <laughs> this was supposed to be between 1 and 38. Obviously, it's not. I realize now it's up to 50. So let's do that again. <laughs> 9. That's better. 9 is this shade. The shades I got were... Oh no. I'm showing you all the mess in the background. Let's zoom in. I got Matte Poet, Matte Story, Metallic Story, and then the last color is Monte Carlo. My camera is crooked. We've got a lot of dark colors to work with. Mostly when I do eyeshadow looks, I do ombres because that's what works well with my eyes, my hooded eyes, and it's easy. So um, this is definitely going to be a challenge, but that's the point of it, right? Let's go! I've seen so many videos of YouTubers doing challenges and they're like, I gotta be somewhere after this so I hope it turns out good. And I've always been like, why would you make a video like this if you're going somewhere? Well, I'm going somewhere after this. <laughs> I had to go somewhere and I had to film this video on this day. So I really hope this turns out well and I don't have to go out in public looking crazy. I don't know what color to use as my... What I 
think is the transition shade. Still haven't learned what that word is. But like the one who goes up here and fades into your skin. <sighs> Sorry. And I'm gonna do it as lightly as possible because this isn't a shade I would actually use as my transition shade. <laughs> what if this is not at all what a transition shade is and I'm just saying it wrong throughout the entire video? Turns out I was saying it wrong throughout the entire video. I'm gonna lower you a little. I tried to do Beachy Waves No Heat. I follow the tutorial doing like the, um, the twist braids. I feel like I look like Hermione from Harry Potter. This is not beach waves, it's more like crimped hair. So I'm just gonna keep hiding my hair. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I've already got my eyeshadow base down. I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This one, you know. I feel like my eyeshadow is kind of patchy today and I have no idea why, because I've done nothing different than usual. So, I'm gonna do the darkest shade, Poet, in the outer corner of my eye. I was gonna go <laughs> tell me if the mirror is blocking my face, but obviously you can't tell me that. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. Does anyone else do their eyeshadow like this? I've never seen like a video where, where anyone does that. Like usually I see people doing one eye and then one eye. But for me, that's so hard. It always gets uneven and I don't remember what I did. So this is easier for me, personally. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like now I'm gonna go in with the um, Monte Carlo shade. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Look a little crazy I usually mostly wear neutrals Or like really discreet colorful looks If you know what I mean Like if I wear pink, it's like light, very faded But I guess this is good, I'm getting out of my comfort zone Oh, I'm getting so tired I need food <laughs> I'm gonna try and finish this in time. I'm a little stressed out because I gotta meet my girlfriend soon. I used the wrong brush too. I'm gonna go in the inner corner of my eye with Metallic Story. So I've realized I'm not very good at talking and doing my makeup at the same time. I mean, I've known this for a really long time. I just thought maybe I could do it on YouTube for some reason. Like I would be better at doing it on camera, even though I can't even talk in front of a camera. I don't know what I was thinking, but I think it's best if I just, uh, what's the opposite of a rewind? Fast for forward? Speed it up. If I just speed it up while I do my makeup and talk after I'm done. I'm just gonna blend this out a little. So far it's not looking too bad. I mean, it's not something I would probably wear, but it looks nice. Kind of looks like a pink sunset for the lower part of my eyes. My lower lash line, that's the word. I'm gonna use Poet. Oh, why is it so bright? I hope it's not going to be overexposed now. It was overcast today, so I was actually worried this video was going to be too dark. But now the sun is out again, and now it's too bright. I look like a clown. <laughs> and I'm going to try and fix this. Maybe if I look a little more tan, if I blend it out more, I can save this look. I'm going to go in with more of Metallic Story. I need some setting spray to pick up more of the, the pigment. I will be right back. I'm back with some spray. I look pale as hell. <laughs> Casper the ghost? Is that you? I feel like I looked way more tan before I, before I applied the eyeshadow. But now the contrast is making me look hella pale. Why is this eye looking so much brighter? 
So just the light. Can you see that? <laughs> you probably can't, but it's like brighter or lighter here and darker here. Just the metallic part. Now it's looking patchy. I don't know how to fix this. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> okay, so I think so far I am done. What, what do you mean so far? <laughs> I think I'm done with the eyeshadow look, but I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back to show you the final look. I'm back. As you can see, I changed the angle a little because I felt like the light was hitting unevenly. But yeah, this is the finished look. It turned out pretty nice. In reality, it looks even nicer because like it looks really dark on camera. I'm kind of into this look. Something, I mean, it's not that different to me. I have worn similar looks before. It's just darker and using different shades to make the same end result, <laughs> which is so boring. Like, how predictable am I? I also feel like this would have been so bomb with a pair of really wispy lashes, but I can't apply lashes for the life of me. I've been trying to apply them since I was like 14 or something, which is nine, nine years. I've been trying to learn to apply them, but I just can't. I've been trying like even without makeup just to learn, but I ordered the Glamnetics Magnetic Lashes, the ones um, with the magnetic liner and then you just like pop the lashes on. But as you know, I live in Sweden, gotta mention that in every video apparently. Um, and Glamnetics is over in the States, I think in California. So the shipping is taking usually like two weeks and now with the whole situation going on, it's taking even longer. So we'll see when I get those. Once they arrive, I'm gonna do a review and try on. I'm gonna try and do a really good thorough review, but I've never done one before, so we'll <laughs> see how it goes. Yeah, I think that's it for today's video. So if you like this video, you should hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. I've never said that before, but I realized that's a thing. <laughs> you should ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!